So in this tutorial, I'm going to be exporting my Space Shooter game to itch.io in the HTML. And what that means is that our players will be able to play the game without having to download it. This is more preferable than when you want to show a game really quickly and you don't want to expect everyone to download it, mostly for game jams, right? So here I am in my main project. What we're going to do is go to the export. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in a new HTML5. However, if you're doing this for the first time, you might have to download some templates. Godot will recommend the best ones for you. Just download them and then follow along. I'm going to rename this to Space Shooter. And all the defaults should be fine. So what I'm going to do is go to Export Project. Make sure Export with Debug is off. And then I'm going to make a new folder here. Oh. OK. And we're going to save it. Once that's built, we're going to look for the folder. So you can go right click, show file in manager. And here you can see our folder. Now we're going to open this. What's really important is we change space shooter to index, like so. If you don't do this, it won't work. This is another quirk that I didn't know about. Go back up one, and we're going to go to our space shooter HTML, right click it, send to compressed zip folder. Now I'm going to copy and paste this to my desktop for easy location. Once it's there, open up your browser, go to itch.io. Obviously I'm already signed in. Upload new project. Think of a name. I'm going to go over the details that are really important to HTML uploads. So right here you'll see kind of project. This can easily be overlooked. I did myself. You want to go to HTML. Once you've done that, we're going to go down and we're going to go to upload files find the file, here it is, so I'm going to open that. Now it's going to upload. While it's uploading you'll notice that we've got some viewport dimensions here. I know that my game screen is 960 by 540 so I'm going to put that in now. Another thing if you wanted you could actually make it full screen by going click to full screen. That will give you a button that if the player places full screen it will match his resolution. However I'm not going to do that. Once you do the rest of the details and so on, you can go down to the bottom. Now you'll notice that you public is not active. What you have to do is save and view. If we run game now, as you can see, we can start playing the game. How we're going to get this so that it's published is go back and click draft. Now you notice that public is an option we select. So that kind of caught me off by guard. So it's like playtesting your own game until you can actually release it. So once that's saved, you can view page and now you can send this link to anyone in your server. If you want to share games, you can put it on Facebook and just let them know that it's HTML ready. That concludes in this tutorial and thanks for stopping by, take care.